Hi guys, welcome to another video here on my channel and welcome to my Planning for 2018 series. If you're new to my channel, this series is a continuation of my Planning for 2017 series that showcased an array of planner reviews that served as a guide to help you find the right planner to match your style. I hope you guys will head over to my blog chaoticcritic.com for full details. Be sure to check out the links in the description box. Enjoy! In this edition, I will be featuring the Reminder Binder, which was created by Denise Albright. You can purchase it on Etsy as well as Amazon. The planner is priced at $34.95, and it is a 17-month planner that starts in August and continues into December of the following year. The planner comes in a keepsake box, and there is also a card included with all of the social media information. The planner comes with a white elastic band that is attached to the back cover to keep everything together and it is bound together by a coil. The hard cover is new to this edition which will help to withstand the wear and tear as this is a 17 month planner. The tabs are laminated and match the vibrant color scheme that you will find throughout the entire planner. Getting into the planner, when you flip over the front cover, you will see what is called a stocket pocket. The stocket pocket is great for storing greeting cards, receipts, vouchers, flyers, and coupons. The pocket is not that deep, so I would not recommend stuffing this to the maximum as you don't want to detach it from the cover. There is also a removable bookmark, which you can interchange between the various weeks in which you're in. Now let's get into the stickers. This planner includes four sheets of stickers. The first three feature icons which have holidays and events and other things that you can mark to help you stay on track. The last page is the most functional with check marks and banners that will work in any weekly spread. Continuing on, there is a personal information page which includes an in case of emergency section as well as my personal favorite, words to live by this year. The following page is more information about the reminder binder and all of its features. There are also holiday pages with all of the holidays for 2017 as well as 2018 and there is a section for you to write in what's coming in 2019. The following three pages has perpetual calendars for 2017, 2018, and 2019, plus lines for you to write in any additional information. There is a page at the beginning of each month for additional note taking and it's a great place for goal setting for the month. The monthly calendar has a take note section, a to do to get section, and a sidebar. The reminder binder has a horizontal layout and underneath the weekend section there are two boxes. One is a checklist and the other is a take note section. These sections are perfect for writing in information that does not necessarily pertain to a particular day. There are no overlaps in this design. So for example, although August 31st is on a Thursday, you will not see it in the same week as September 1st. What's August is August, what's September is September, so on and so forth. Additional pages at the end of the planner include contacts, there are checklist pages for things that you need to get done that do not have a certain time of year that they need to get done or project management, and there's also dates to remember. For additional storage, there is also a double-sided clear pocket. I decided to do a quick plan with me slash pen test using the stickers that were included in the planner, as well as my go-to pen, which is my Papermate Inkjoy gel pen in the black ink. The stickers fit perfectly over the numbers in the monthly spread and I love that they're square. It really does work well and it doesn't take up a lot of space, being that space is limited in the monthly spread. Also, when using the pen, I did notice that the heavier that I wrote, the more shadowing that there was, but when writing regular, I didn't see any shadowing at all. There are additional stickers that you can purchase separately. They are $8.99 a pack and there are various set combinations on Etsy that range from $14.95 for two sets all the way to nearly $50 for 10 sets.
Now let's talk pros and cons. When it comes to pros of the Reminder Binder, I absolutely love the elastic band and the hard cover. I also love the double-sided plastic pouch that is in the back, which is great for additional storage. Another thing that I love are the stickers that are included in the front of the planner, as well as the pages in the back. You have additional space to write, and of course, who doesn't love stickers? The keepsake box is also great because it's additional storage that you can put your stickers in. Also, if you want to travel with your reminder binder, you can put it back in the box and it'll be good to go. As for the cons of this planner, I am not a fan of the socket pocket that is attached to the back of the front cover. As you can see, mine has already started to detach. I do prefer the durability of the double-sided pocket that is in the back of the planner. Another con for me is that there is not enough space to write. Although there are various options throughout the planner, I do wish that there was more space in the weekly and especially the monthly spread. Now for the finale of this review. Would I bank or tank this planner? I would bank it. I think some people may be thrown off by the fact that this is a planner geared more so towards moms and if you're not a mom, this may not be the type of planner for you. But with the simplistic style and the versatility of the stickers that you can purchase separately, I think that this is a planner that can work for people that are not moms, like myself. I'm not a mom, but I can still find a use for this planner even with the horizontal style. So I'll definitely give this planner a bank. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and special thanks to Denise for sending me this planner to review. Although this planner was sent to me for the purpose of this series, all opinions are my own. For more information, be sure to check out my corresponding blog post. The blog is chaoticcritic.com. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at chaoticcritic and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!